Are you a fan of Atari's 1974 arcade game Tank? Well, if you are, there's a new game called Attack of the Toy Tanks out now on PlayStation 4 that very much reminds me of that classic arcade game. But are these toys must own, or does this one deserve to tank? Attack of the Toy Tanks is a very simple game. It's mostly a single player game where you're playing as a tank trying to take out all the enemies on the screen. The game features 60 levels with different setups. The themes for the stages are a bit different. Some are in the dark, some have snow on some of the platforms, but for the most part they pretty much look the same and they're all a single screen. There is a little variety to the enemy types as far as some of the movement. There is a few different firing styles and weapons that you'll have to deal with throughout and that you'll also have for yourself, though this does change up level by level. You're not picking up power-ups or anything scattered throughout any of the stages. There are also environmental hazards like lasers and spikes that will get in your way as well, but thankfully they can also take out the enemy tanks. Your goal in every level is very simple, just destroy all the enemies as fast as you can and do so while surviving. You only have one health, so as soon as you get hit, you'll have to start the level over from the beginning. Also, if you destroy all the enemies, but you also are destroyed in the process, it's also a fail. Controls take a bit to get used to for sure. You're aiming with one stick, you're moving where you want your tank to go, the treads and all with the left, but then you have to press one button to go forward and another one to go backwards. You also have to press a different button to fire out. So kind of mastering this and getting this down will probably be a good portion of your first 10, 15 or so, or maybe even more levels before you finally feel comfortable with the game, if you ever do. The game does feature a multiplayer component, but it's only one or two players locally. There's a handful of levels, and then you have two minutes to destroy each other. Whoever has the most amount of points at the end is the winner, but there really isn't a lot to this multiplayer at all. It's mostly the 60 single-player stages. From the technical side of things, thankfully the game didn't crash on me, and I didn't run into anything else as far as major glitching. Attack of the Toy Tanks is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $4.99. It does feature a very easy Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on the PlayStation Vita, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Overall, Attack of the Toy Tanks isn't an awful game, but it doesn't really provide a whole lot, and even at $4.99 in 2019, there just really isn't a lot going on with Attack of the Toy Tanks that can say, hey, you need to go out and check this one out, unless you're a real retro enthusiast for the tank arcade game or combat on the Atari 2600. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Attack of the Toy Tanks on the PlayStation 4 a 5 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though, I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.